hello friends uh, welcome to the fourth video of the series so in this video we are going to see uh, this one like uh, app login with the session and show hello on the view so we'll create a user uh, login and uh, we'll validate each and everything and then we'll show some raw data on like user info on the front end after user get login on the account page so what we need to do create all the files in the assets folder a file from the bootstrap website so for the front end part of the dashboard we need to download the bootstrap part uh, so like we need to download the bootstrap css and uh, java js file so just go on their website and you can download the compiled one like compiled css and js so download it and after download you will get a zip file like this just yeah so you need to extract it and you will get folder structure like this so just go inside there and you will get css file uh, this one and you will get a js file of the bootstrap so just copy it and uh, put in your asset directory so what you're gonna do you need to create a directory inside your project as asset and you need to put the css file in css which is which one this bootstrap main.css and uh, the js file uh, required the bootstrap main.js and uh, jquery as well if uh, yeah it is not there but you need to put the bootstrap main.js so these are the external which which are not required but i have copied uh, uh, like uh, it, it was there so you no need to add this one so just go there and uh, i will share this style fi.css file with you so that uh, this this one js is for our login page as you can see this is the login page we are getting so this this is the style fi.css file is for my login page okay but uh, yeah let me show you that as well so bootstrap main.css file we need to copy and some js which we got from the bootstrap so we need to copy that uh, in our directory as a directory okay after copying this uh, so, uh, like we need to create a direct uh, file for us like we required the user.php and uh, welcome.php welcome.php is the already there you need to create a user.php as a controller and then inside the model for database interaction you need to create a user.php and for view we need to create a header footer and account after the login which is which is same as the dashboard.php the user dashboard and uh, this is the login php this four file you need to create okay so now go to the txt yeah so we need to uh, put some auto load uh, php like we need to put the helper and uh, this one libraries in auto load.php file so in previous video we have done with the database part and uh, we are done with uh, like uh, we have configured this one database.php let me show you that as well so inside database.php file we have configured our database as localhost user adds root and database name as the crud app crud session driver as mysqli okay so this has been done in previous video now config.php we need to configure our base url so whatever the base url we are getting like localhost 8089 and crud project so what will be the base url it will be this much only so you need to copy this base url in in your config.php file so and uh, one more file is there which one uh, this auto load.php like whenever the application will get load what all the libraries or helper which we need to auto load on on our application so this is the auto load dot uh, in auto load library you need to define your array of the like what we required we require the database which will get auto load and we require the session these two thing and uh, in helper we required the url so you need to add these two thing in your auto load.php library and uh, helper you need to add in your auto load.php file okay so we done this much now next part uh, config.php we are done then files files in model v1 controller yeah now come to this part controller we have to define and uh, in model we have to define user.php and on view you need to create one directory as users and in that you need to create this four file okay i will share this code with you 
so that the front like uh, this base we can create easily so on user.php what we have done so first we need this login page and for this login we need to define this mapping like users then slash login those users is my controller and the login will be my function so like this it will get identify in your uh, coding nature so users is my is my class which is the controller which extend the ci controller and uh, function will be the login so login will be the function i have defined here okay so in login uh, we need to first check is the user is login or not if the user is already logged in then uh, we need to route it to account page okay so it is like user slash account so it will go in the users directory and inside that it will uh, call this account.php page okay if the user is already logged in if not then this is the third second part so what we are going to do we will uh, put this uh, session success data success message like whatever the success message will come we will just going to put there on the success message and uh, if any error message then we'll, we are going to put in the session error message is this one okay and then uh, this is for the login submit like uh, whenever the user click on the login button it will uh, go to the login submit and if the mass input posted the login submit then it will perform this much operation else please fill all the mandatory fields okay so this one yeah this one like this uh, this one otherwise it will uh, already uh, always load the users slash login page so it will use uh, open the user slash login page now let me show you this one so what we have done like this this is the one uh, one div and this is another div so div is the side nav and we have include the header.php so let me show you first the header.php so all the title related things which is the common in all my page so i will going to define in my header.php file so till the body it will be the same and this this uh, this css is the style file uh, css file which i will share with you and uh, here we have the login dot uh, this one footer.php so after the body whatever will come it will come inside this one okay now come to the second part login.php so it will include the header.php inside that so already till the body part it will come here and then uh, we have defined uh, like login main main text as the application login page so this is the application login page login for register from to access so this one is this one and uh, then we have the success message if any success message is there then it will uh, show me in this alert box if uh, if error message then it will show me in the danger box so as you can see alert success and alert uh, danger here okay now uh, yeah this is my login page so form action is equal to po method is equal to post action is the blank and then form group user email this is the all css tag so, and uh, we need to define the name as email type as email and placeholder as email required is it is the required one so put the required field as well password uh, type as the password and name as the password and this is for the php error like uh, we have defined if any defined any like required uh, php validation according to validation then we need to uh, if uh, any error is coming from my control part then it will show here okay so like this you can uh, show your error php echo form error uh, of the password in this block and submit we are calling the login submit button and uh, if a user don't have uh, any account then it will click on the register and it will route to the user slash registration pay, uh, this function but uh, till now we didn't have any defined registration function so it will not come but uh, on like click on submit it will uh, like we can able to log in on the uh, this uh, application so we have login submit now come to the users.php so on the login submit uh, uh, in the login only in function login it will call the login submit as we have defined if the input post as the login submit then it it will going to validate my login uh, my email value email and password 
so we have set the form validation set rule as the email valid required valid email it will requ it is the required field and it should be valid email id then set rule password as the password as the record these are the coordinator level validations of the form if the validations run equals to true then we are going to store this form array data in the form array and uh, we have set the status we will set the status as the state uh, which is the coming from the form and uh, we'll check uh, if like uh, it will call one function of the validate user uh, using the form array and uh, whatever will go there uh, it will give me the return data so just go inside the model so model we have defined in the user.php and in login page we we get uh, we are receiving the form array and where uh, we have the email field form array we are retrieving uh, each data one by one and we are saying if where email equals to form array of email and password is equal to form array md5 of form array password and status should be one so status if the status is one then it will able to log in otherwise it will not able to log in okay and uh, then go once again there so if uh, everything is okay then it will uh, return some row array like uh, user exist so just go again on the user controller now come to the login submit so it will uh, validate user if the any data is present and the result is true then uh, we are going to set the user data if user login is true and uh, session inside session we are going to set the user id of check login id or uh, whatever the uh, which uh, like which user is uh, logged in it will store the data inside the user id and we are going to, we are going to redirect this to user slash account if the validation is successful otherwise it will show me the wrong email or password please try again okay otherwise like if validation fails this one runs method will get filled then it will show please fill the all mandatory fields on the form okay so it will route me it will redirect to the user slash account so what it will do user slash account page function it will uh, it will check if the user is already logged in like uh, this this will be the true as the user is logged in so as it will true otherwise it will if it is not true then it will direct to login page again so inside that we are going to call the we are going to get the user id from the session and then we are going to call the function of the defined in the model get user by id we'll get all the related data of the user and we'll store in the logged in user so just go inside again the user id user model get user by id we have the user id here and uh, we are going to call where function user id and we are going to return the user uh, of the row array okay so it will going to return the user uh, as we have uh, done in the validate login user as well so it will going to return me the user and it will we are going to store in the logged in user variable so we are going to store this in the data array and uh, we'll pass this data to the account page users account view okay so user slash account this one this one this php inside the view directory view then users then account so it will call the use account page with the array data of array of the data and this data have the logged in user inside it so what we have done in the log account.php page we have already loaded the header.php like we have included and we have included the footer.php as well and we are going to show this uh, data on the navigation bar so like welcome logged in user first name and logged in user second name this is the concatenation and uh, login email id of the user and uh, if user wants to log in a uh, logout so we are going to show the logout button and we are going to call the logout function like you we are going to call the users a uh, logout function inside the users page okay so just go there if the user click on the logout button then it will go the last one and it will just unset the all the data defined in the session and it will destroy the session as well and it will redirect me to user slash login page so this must function we have done in the controller part like logout then login and account 
and uh, on the first index it will just uh, check whenever the user uh, whenever we call the user index function it will just check if the user is logged in it will route, route to me the account page otherwise it will route me to the login page okay so now come to the demo part so we are able to see the login page so let me log in with one of my uh, email id system one two three okay so as it will get the login so as you can see the arvin the arvin that gmail.com and password is some md5 data and the status as one so we have already set uh, in the model like uh, if the status is one then only user will get login otherwise it will not able to login so if the Google user wants to login with admin at gmail.com then status is zero defined here so it will not able to login on the front end so as you can see we are logged in successfully with the all data like uh, name email id and logout button and welcome to the coordinator application so just log out so it will call my logout function and it will route me to the front page so the if i am i will able to uh, like uh, i will just say the login so it will give me the required which is the html5 and just type any random pass email id and just type anything so just click on the login but it will give me error like it should be the valid email so it is not the valid email now let me put any valid email and just click on the login so we'll get the user is unauthorized or like it should not have the proper credentials so wrong email and password please try again so like this is the like uh, status is a status as the zero so it will not able to log in if we want another login so we can uh, like uh, we can do any let, let me log in with the mehul so mehul at gmail so as you can see we are able to log in and it is the mehul shah mehul at gmail.com and log out okay so this much in this video like uh, we have seen the models uh, validate your login user get user by id we have seen this four view header footer are the common for all the pages account for the dashboard part and login for my front end and then we have the user.php in that uh, we have defined multiple function like first one in the index if the user is already logged in it will route me to the account page otherwise it will route me to the login page and then account page if the user logged in then it will uh, get the session user id from the session and it will call the get user by id function and store all the data in the logged in user and it will pass this data to the account page and account page just iterate it and just show me it uh, on the front end and uh, on the login function if the user logged in then it will uh, give route me to the account page otherwise this much of things it will do if the log if the post method is as the login submit then uh, it will uh, first do the all the set rule for the validation if the validation is correct it will call the function of the validate login user and if the login is correct then it will store this data in this one like the user logged in as true and uh, store the id of the user and uh, just redirect to user slash account page and logout it will destroy all the session so uh, let me know if you have any issue and if you have any doubt while running this application and uh, please do subscribe to my channel friends thank you so much